hell yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Shit. There aren't a lot of games that give me the feeling that Wii Sports does. Of course there are other great games from my childhood like Halo and Mario Kart that remind me of fun times with my friends, but there's something about Wii Sports that just stands out. The Nintendo Wii came out in North America in November of 2006, and little baby me remembers this being a big fucking deal. Why? Well, because Nintendo was making the first big leap into motion controls with this new console. Oh. Mama! Coming off of the GameCube, Nintendo really wanted to jump back into the console competition. With this integration of motion controls, they were trying to play to a whole new audience. They weren't just going to cater to people who liked video games, those freaking nerds. No, they were going to cater to everyone. And what better way to cater to the masses than to launch with a game about sports? Oh my god, that's baseball! I know that one! Wii Sports was the Nintendo's solution to sell this console. It was essentially a pretty up tech demo that allowed the consumer to see what was possible with this newfangled motion technology. However, Nintendo couldn't have fathomed what this little game would go on to achieve. Not only was it simple to navigate, it was also simple to control. With this new console, it made it so much easier for the whole family to play. You no longer had to sit your parents down and explain the controls for like an hour. All you had to say was, Oh, it's fucking tennis, just swing the controller. This was such a breath of fresh air. As a kid who had parents who weren't really into video games, it was really nice to have a game that we could all play together, and we didn't have to teach an introductory course on how to play it. I even remember playing this with my grandpa, which should be a pretty clear indication that this was made for everyone. The game had a bunch of different options. Not only could you play tennis, baseball, bowling, boxing, and golf, but there were also a bunch of mini games for each one. I can't tell you how many times I played the 100 pin bowling mini game. I went through it so many times just to successfully pull off the bomb easter egg, which for anyone that doesn't know, if you throw the ball on the railing and it makes it all the way to the back, it triggers a bomb and makes all the pins fall over simultaneously and it's probably the most satisfying thing I've ever seen. Nice throw! Hey, that's pretty good. The game also did a great job solidifying the Wii's identity as a console through the use of Miis. Players could make their own avatars on the console called Miis in a separate area or channel of the Wii. And it was super cool because this world of Miis and the world of Wii Sports overlapped. This meant that not only could you play as yourself, but you could also make abominations like this. Oh my goodness! I even forgot to mention that Nintendo included a copy of Wii Sports with the Wii console itself. That meant that if you were buying the console, you already had hours of fun packaged with it. Now that's how you sell a console. For everybody out there in the audience, Microsoft, I'm looking at you. You should be taking notes right now. We're going to be quizzing about this next week. Don't disappoint me. You probably will. Wii Sports was truly something special. It might not look like much, especially today, but there was so much to love about this game. I was inspired to make a video about Wii Sports because I recently played it again with some friends and all the memories just came flooding back into my brain. I often hear games get praised and labeled as timeless and I think Wii Sports definitely deserves that title because I don't think there will ever be a day that I'm not happy to pick this game back up. I don't know, man. One-two-switch was pretty cool. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>